uh, Tom, what's wrong with congratulating the royal couple on the birth of their first child, who's going to be King of England as well? Well, in, indeed, unless, uh, uh, as I hope, that, uh, of course, we uh, we change to a more democratic system by then. So you're then. just a royalist, I mean, it's a Republican. I, I I'm, I'm a, a long-standing Republican. I believe that the British people should be trusted to elect their head of state, as most modern democracies do. There's nothing wrong with congratulating uh, any uh, couple uh, on the birth of a child. What I objected to in particular was uh, spending over an hour of parliamentary time, which is very valuable, uh, basically congratulating um, you know, a very wealthy, very powerful couple on the birth of their child. You know, amidst all of the other crises that we have, I mean, I'm a London Assembly member. I represent a city where 650,000 children live in poverty, where 391,000 children living in overcrowded housing. I, I, you know, politics is a language of priorities, and I think Harold Wilson okay. said, and I don't think the priorities were right. So stomach churning, Robert? Is Tom right? Tom needs to cheer up a bit, doesn't he? I mean, the fact <laughs> is, he's out of t touch with what most people were thinking at the time. They were very happy the little baby was born and most people were congratulating uh, the couple. And I don't think they were particularly bothered about having an hour spent on people saying that. And I can hear what you're saying about parliamentary time. Maybe they didn't need to spend that much, but we live in a parliamentary democracy. We have a constitutional monarchy and therefore this little chap one day will be the king. So it's fair enough that it's recorded in Hansard.